Kelsey. Two-year-old Kelsey wasn't the least Kelsey. bit shy. Kelsey, say, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> From backyard barbecues to meeting the Easter Bunny, she okay. was full of life. Did you get all the stuff you wanted from the Easter Bunny? Uh-huh. You did? I wanted to get more. You wanted to get more? Kelsey didn't live to see another Easter. She died October 11th after her new stepfather allegedly beat her to death. There was people that could have helped Kelsey that failed her, without a doubt. The new year has not brought much peace to Kelsey's grandparents, Royce and Kathy Briggs. It's hard to talk about her still. They say the nightmare began when Kelsey came to spend the weekend, about this same time last year. She had 29 bruises from her face to her arms, all down her legs, all on her back, and they were in various colors, so you know they didn't happen all at once. And the, and the broken collarbone. Their son in the military and divorced from Kelsey's mother. So Kathy and Royce got an emergency court order for custody. Oh, your bunny fell over, Kelsey. Oh, oh Mimi Walker. You're going to rock her. The toddler had been living with her mother, Radon Smith, and Radon's boyfriend at the time, Michael Porter. But after the broken collarbone and bruises, Kelsey began living with her grandparents. Sorting out what happened from there is frustrating. We went looking for answers, but DHS would only give us a summary of their actions. Court records have been sealed. But by digging into this story for three months now, we have learned caseworkers thought Kelsey's mother either perpetrated the abuse or failed to protect her. Radon Smith was ordered to take parenting classes, and visitation was gradually phased in. About the time Michael Porter became Kelsey's stepfather, the court allowed the two-year-old to go home. Then another so-called accident, which one doctor confirmed was abuse. These are not accidents. These are not toddler fractures. These are not stress fractures. They are spiral fractures. Somebody has yanked on her legs and broken them. But after listening to hours of testimony, the judge gave Kelsey back to her mother in July, with the stipulation caseworkers visit every week. Kathy and Royce saw her one last time in August. Last time that I saw her, I thought just the way that she looked and the way that she acted and all the the marks on her I had made, I had told some friends of mine that she looked like she was dying from the point of where she was when we had her to what we saw on, on August 27th was not the same child. And we, we tried to tell people that. They emailed everyone from DHS to legislators and even started this website. Nothing worked. Just two hours after a visit from a caseworker in October, Kelsey was apparently hit or kicked so hard in the stomach, she died. Her 25-year-old stepfather, Michael Porter, now faces first-degree murder. Kelsey's mother is still under investigation and a gag order. Kathy and Royce believe the system is as much to blame. I'm angry at a lot of people. This shouldn't have happened. My son shouldn't have had to bury his only child while he's gone serving the country. They should have protected her.